All right, let's do this. Yeah, I don't expect this to be a very long video. Um, I was going to pop the other, I'm just too tired, which is a good thing. Um, this is 100% rant, 100% opinion, and I hope to God I throw the, whatever you call it, gauntlet down, and, and I'd love to chat about this proper. And I hope I get put in my place, as in, you know what, you don't know what you're talking about, Chris. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I am not a fan whatsoever in many ways of, well, I guess whatsoever, in many ways, kind of whatever. Um, I'm not a fan of the way Durbelt Creek deals with uh, cores, core HQs. Um, I think, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it was something that was tacked on after the after the fact and was not uh, well thought out. I'm sorry, this is this is just me. Um, I think core HQs are way too powerful in some aspects and anemic in the aspects they should be. Um, effective in um, uh, the, it, they're way out they're way out of kilter um, this whole uh, this whole thing of um, the ex it's just an extreme limitation hold on here I can't remember the exact but I think it's two strength points uh, or two supply points they're only allowed to use or uh, let's hold on here I'm just gonna make sure I grab it properly and like I said there's no demoralization points uh, uh, incurred if you uh, lose them. Uh, I can make as many as I want uh, n for nothing. I understand it was it's against the spirit of the rules later on I've, I've been looking at uh, in the Comsim world uh, forum. I think it was Jackson Chomper. I can, can't rem uh, remember his name properly but uh, he seems to really know his thing. Well, Christ, he was part of the development of this stuff. So it says they may hold a maximum of 10 supply points. I'm f totally cool with that. And may only send and receive supply points over land on the turn they are created. They may conduct rail transfer normally. Any attack may only have up to two supply points expended for it by core HQs. Similarly, any counterattack may only have up to four supply points expended for it by core HQs. Uh, maybe it's the way I want to play the game out or something, uh, but like I said, I'm starting to get into this realm, I think, that Der Velkrieg, uh is doesn't know what, or, or it gets into that strange scale of trying to do too much, um, trying to be too many things at once or something. Uh, and that's where I think there's like four trillion exceptions later on. Uh, you just take, and then you know you start hearing about like you reading about like everybody in the dog would love to do Gallipoli, for example. Dervel Krieg is probably I can say not the freaking uh, one to do Gallipoli with. Um, and you take a look, and you'd be like scratching your head for I think, like I said, this is just opinions or whatever. I I, I just I think there's there we go. Um, and so what. Just, I just don't think the way. I just no. I just, I, I just don't think the way I've been reading the way cores uh, and core HQs were able to do things and so on and so forth, and the way this is structured uh, uh, towards so much focus towards the specificity of strength points and where they're coming from. Like this is this from this brigade or that division and so on and so forth. What I'm saying, that doesn't seem to mesh well with me the way core HQs are handled in this game. That's all. And um, as far as I'm concerned, if I want to get into looking at the way things were done, um, I, core H cores are really important. Um, and it seems to be more, like I said, therefore more in, in tune with what um, uh, that strength point narrative or the, the combat system or whatever you want to call it with Debrel Krieg is. And as far as I'm concerned, therefore make uh, core HQs more important or valuable in the sense of uh, being lost and so on and so forth. Like I said, uh, maybe it gets rectified a little bit more with the grand campaign and trying to stick with the spirit of the rules, but still, uh, um, like I said, it feels tacked on to me. And secondly, um, 
Therefore, if you're going to make them more valuable, at least make give them a bit more bite uh, for being able to supply a tax, for crying out loud. Um, you know, like Jeepers Jumping. We're talking, if, maybe I'm wrong, but like I said, it's just because there there's, if that's the case, then there should be a bazillion core HQs out there. And like I said, I'd love to chit chat about this because then if you, okay, let's say you've got, uh, it says two, um, two supply, uh, Two supply points per attack member and that's it straight up they can't do anything anymore um so that's two supply points so that's eight strength points uh, for an attack so if you're looking at let's say uh two russian normal let's say russian divisions of uh, let's say four or fives um so that's two divisions that seems reasonable for a core, I think. Lots of times you hear about cores being basically two core, uh, two divisions. Um, all right, so they can pull off that one. But then what I'm saying is the cores are not there uh, in, in the rules kind of thing. Yet there's this massive focus on divisions and brigades and so on and so forth. There seems to be this missing element in the structure for the way I'm seeing it. But that's it. Um, that's the end of my whatever. I got that off my chest for Christ's sakes. Anyways, hope you're having a freaking awesome time still. Okay, see ya.